All right, what a great piece this is. A couple of different fingers. I like to start with three here. Let's move this out of the way. That way it just allows me to more quickly move the, um, you know, the thumb over and the fifth finger over to D like that. And there it is. But let's say your hand just, it's too difficult. Then 1-5 is fine. The only thing I recommend is put, make sure to put the second finger on D and that way you can more easily replace the second with the first like this and then extend to five, right? So don't, don't kind of just put second anywhere. Make sure it's pointing to where you're putting the uh, thumb. But yeah, if you can stretch this way, I find it is much easier this way. And yeah, dab the pedal, why, why, why not? You don't have to, but I think it's nice. Something like that, yeah, down, up green up okay then the next very important rhythm it doesn't say that but staccato is implied you need that solid clean polonaise rhythm is there a better finger i think one two four is good one three five yeah so here again one two prepared Maybe pedal, just to start that accented downbeat. Now this repeated ta 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 ti ti ta ta, it's not exactly easy to explain what to do, but your entire forearm is moving, right? So there's that, you can kind of slightly see it on the side camera is what's going on. In the meanwhile, the fingers are active. It's not like I'm stuck in this, you know, uh, stiff shape here and I'm just, ah, you know, doing this drum mallet sort of action. There is a very active sort of a grabbing motion taking place during my contact with the key. You can almost see it uh, the way my, my fingertips grab the keys at the very last moment as I come down right and that just gives me that better control as opposed to you know that kind of stiff way of playing it and of course this uh, thing keeps coming back over and over so make sure to practice it ah that might be an interesting one see in the left hand maybe I can make it zoomed out like this I would recommend this approach. Already put four down on D, so I'll do that here. And that way you don't have to move anything. Four in the right hand. Right? One, three, five goes back to one, two, four. And then here, one, two, three. And then back to. One, two, four, which is exactly what was suggested at, at the beginning of that G minor triad and second inversion, right? So here, boom, oops, my thing is stuck again. Come on, wake up. There it is. And of course, it's the same here. Come on, wake up. I don't know why this is so slow. I really need to get a new iPad. There it is. Okay, so these are the same chords, and therefore um, you want to be fingering them the same way. And then while you have this super long quarter note, boom, pedal, move. Right, and of course I make a big point about practicing these moves. So the left hand goes down here that's too big and the right hand goes down here again that's a little wrong okay i cannot do it but roughly this so down down so highlight it with green this has to be your stopping point right green let's think about the fingering 
Yeah, I think one three five is fine. Three here. Number five. But again, you can pretty much use any fingerings for this triad. Right? Anyway, this is where you are at green. So you're ready to go whatever. But learn this position and now starting at let's say cyan hold it down four sorry and boom one more time you're here cyan and practice this has to be something you actively practice if you want to not kind of get into this and then uh, oh and then you have this un unnecessary gap between the last beat of measure four and the downbeat of measure five. So practice. Boom. Very, very, very fast. And with the pedal down. Right. There it is, ringing, no, no problems. One more time. Okay, so once you've done that and you're in position, you've got some really fast position changes. Right, so I'm going to label them here. Every time I zoom in, now my iPad is stuck. Come on. Okay, there it is. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna stop zooming in. This is really a problem. Hmm. All right. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we even say from last note. So that move has to happen before you even try to play the right hand. Yeah. So I'm here. I don't know, let's let's label it indigo. I'm holding the G right before the indigo. My right hand is in position. Ah. In fact, you can kind of see my nose is already shifting to this side of the keyboard, which makes it much easier to bring the left hand over quickly. There it is. Very very rapid muscle twitch. workout okay and so same thing as you get up to that five let's I don't know make it pink we have uh, it's a little hard to see we have this problem right so at the at pink how does this work boom here that's where my hands have to be both of them at pink so working backwards, notice my right hand is beneath the left hand. Left hand is in position. I'm holding that D right before the pink. Boom. Ooh, that was too slow. Holding it, holding it. And this is t harder because I have to be kind of circular as I move to not collide with my <laughs> the fingers of my left hand. Oh, see? So that. A little less direct than I want it to be, but uh, still very, very fast. So that that's something that Chopin was obviously experimenting when he wrote it, and he was quite young, I think. I forget how old. Oh, so hard. Right, but but it's a very rapid shift, shift, shift passage. So you have to spend quite a bit of time to get these jumps in place so before pink let's just keep building it up holding third b flat there before the pink Ooh, okay then holding g you can see the indigo going through that g right hand ah, so i'm playing the b flat the d and i'm doing the jump right and the reason i'm stopping is because i want my brain to be focused on nothing but this very difficult technical jump. There it is. And then same thing, starting before the indigo. Right, I've got the G, I've got this in position. Ooh, that's, that's tough. Right, now I'm having to do both the left hand jump and the right hand jump. If you're still finding it hard, especially if it's the first day of practicing this, just stop at one jump. So, right, right at indigo. Even if you go into, let's say, G, you 
press it down that's fine just don't get all over to d right before the pink because then you're forced to do that instant jump to the next position there so make sure you, you make things easy for you when you practice difficult things anyway so hopefully that drives the point across let's continue how much easier this is <laughs> okay yep 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 I, I don't really think there's much to talk about B in position the only thing I might say is practice this little adjustment as soon as you're done oop, I did the zoom in again I wait before the electrons comply there it is off okay so make sure this square happens for the fifth finger right right away onto F sharp yeah I'm just gonna zoom back out wait the weight and work through the rest of it so yeah, as soon as you are done with that left hand triad put the fifth finger on the F sharp and continue here very very compact position for the right hand fingers oh there is an option to play the A with finger 4 I'll put it down as an idea and the reason it's an idea is because of course then you don't have to move 3 over to A You just use four that's already there but if you don't feel comfortable with using four between the two black keys there then use the third finger between those two black keys <laughs> okay and as you play the one and four or maybe one and three you still want to bring the fifth finger back to G so I'll try to do that real careful there yeah that little square you barely see So let's do this here to compact 432. And the super fast jump that I'm going to reveal. Measure seven, right? Everything is easy, 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 and suddenly, boom. Big jump. Again, always stop to check you've done it. Yeah. yeah, okay, so a couple of things to watch. If you're doing that fingering 513, then 412, make sure 4 goes on to D because it's very easy to have it rest on D sharp or something like that. Whereas if you stick it on D, then it's ready. So one more time. And of course, the same thing as we saw up above, that cyan green pair. Anyway, the, the nice thing here is it just repeats. You have, if you've practiced the above line, you've essentially learned the rest of this page except for the very ending so let's look at that i'll start on measure 10. yeah so from after 10 things change first of all let me just make sure i'm doing it right Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so in measure 11, I think that's a good idea to reposition to finger 2 in the right hand. And then that super fast jump you see with the arrow. And of course, where, why am I holding my fifth finger on E natural in the right hand? No idea. Let's fix that. a little bit of a crescendo just to really drive towards the ultimate measure but a lot of jumping 
couple of different fingering choices. I'm going to go with what's there. Yeah, so as you jump from here, you do that. Making sure to put the thumb on C. Now here, I would probably myself go with four. I'll show you right here. Because it keeps my hand in the same position. And just extend the thumb towards F sharp. Yeah, I know it's a little uh, less regular to use the thumb on a black key, but I like to do it. Yeah, this is one of those old school appoggiatura writings where you coordinate, you play the F sharp and A on the beat, then comes one, four, five? No. That? No, that that's probably a mistake. So that would be, you could, you could do one, three, five, and then two and a four, or one, two, five, and then one, three. I, I would definitely not try to do one, four, five, three, five. So let's try that. One, two, five, one, two. I'm sorry, one, three. My, my, my mistake. Yeah. So if you go with finger one on F sharp in the right hand, I would just play one and two and then slide the thumb down to G. That, that's my preference. Or if you don't like it, fine. You go to two, four, three, whatever. It that doesn't, doesn't really matter. Or maybe you can bring in three to A and do like this. One, three, and then two many many options for the right hand anyway so that this is the beginning of this uh, piece let's try it one more time uh, one three five yeah uh, wrong finger right i put three instead of four uh, one Didn't nail it, right? Keep missing that left hand. All right, so if you keep doing that, just stop right here, check you're in the right position, do that. And then eventually, if you do want to have the full control, you have to do this. Uh, yeah, I don't have the full control, so. But always stop and check, always stop and check until it becomes reliable. Oh, where's my f fifth finger? There it is. Ah, too, too soon. There is the jump. And where is my first finger? Why am I trying to play this G with the first finger instead of the second? See, lots of problems. of jittery action in the left hand. I barely did it, but okay. Oh, oh, by the way, I just noticed. That's kind of smart. Let me bring it up and zoom in, but of course it's problematic. So you see how um, after the first four on that downbeat of the final measure in the top line, that's smart because then you see that same thing occur before uh, later in the second four, and that perfectly prepares you for the four in the final line there, which you can barely see. Yeah, that's very cool. All right, let's finish it and starting with measure seven. Yes, measure seven. And right there. Uh, why am I continuing to try to use five instead of four? Well, I know why. Four is a weak finger, so I'm kind of not allowed, not wanting to use it. <laughs> Oops, pedal. That 
this time I remember to put five on F sharp. Yeah, the only difficulty is that you still have to reposition the second finger in the right hand from G to G sharp. That has to happen. Right, as, right away as you play measure 10, yeah? As you play that B flat, put the second on G sharp. And just let go, right? You don't have to hold that A all the way to the end. Now reposition to f uh, five. If you like my four on the A, do that. Put that in here as well, just to make sure you see the, the option. Why am I putting the, the fifth finger on E natural? Because that's easier. Be E flat, come on. Ah, wait, wait, wait. this is second finger here is a good idea. Okay, reset. There, that move, I'll highlight it with, I don't know, green, yeah. And you can do a pedal there as well. Release. Okay, very good. Enjoy, ask questions as necessary.